room tour time. And bam, bam. All right, hope you guys liked it. No, I'm kidding. This is the long version. There's the alcohol. There's all my Miss Marvel except for the 77 series that's elsewhere. Moon Girl, Monstrous Morning Glories. Down here, two boxes of Stephanie Hahn stuff. And you'll notice there's stuff on top. I am clearly not done with Stephanie Hahn stuff. Uh, Usagi, Lazarus, Lock and Key, Fables. That box is busting and now they started it. Uh, new issues. It's driving me crazy. I get a new box. Random miscellaneous. Got like my wizard haps in there. Um, some hip hop variants. Some other things. X-23 and Marauders. Lumberjanes. There's a penny roll from Bitch Planet. Signed by Kelly Sue, I believe. Uh, there will be a prize for the first person who comments as to why that comic there is important to me. If you've watched my previous videos, you know... Somebody was handing it out, dressed as uh, Michael J. Fox from Back to the Future, Marty McFly. Really, really funny. It even says, I love you with the phone number on back. Here's the Miss Marvel shelf, the first Miss Marvel shelf. One in 50 from uh, Magnificent Miss Marvel. Um, and then we got the one in 50 from issue two from the 2014 run. And the variants of issue one from the 2014 one. And of course... We have um, all new Marvel Now Point One, all those signed by G. Willow Wilson, uh, that one by G. Willow Wilson and Arthur Adams. Sorry about the reflection. Okay, first, second, third, they call that fourth, they call that the fourth sketch, then they call that the sixth and the seventh, and then the True Believers, the Halloween comic. They don't actually have a fifth, they call that the fourth sketch. Don't ask me why, right? This camera's heavy. All right, so you know what that is. Here's a little Star Wars shelf for you. Gotta love these guys. Then we bump up. There's my X-Men shelf, signed by Claremont. About half of those, if not more than half, are signed by Claremont. If you know, you know what this next one is about. 1986, that's all I'm gonna say. Little Justice Society connecting variants. We come down here and we've got a Hans uh, die. Not all of those, like that's Jen Bartel, and so not all of those are Stephanie's. Um, let's come back here. These are like actively being collected, right? Shorter series, stuff that I'm nowhere near completing or that I just don't have enough of to fit into the box that's behind me. That's Overflow Star Wars figures I haven't figured out where to put up yet. That's a poster from The Wire and a poster from Breaking Bad. I'll display those once I get them framed. They're really pretty awesome. Uh, two boxes of unread comics. Looks like a lot, but I just finished reading the third box of all my Star Wars comics going back about a year. Uh, more overflow comics and shipping supplies. You really don't care about that. Uh, there's something my son did in like third grade for an art contest. Uh, Mark Brooks, really great set of connecting variants on Fantastic Four uh, versus X-Men, the, the Darsky ones, I think Darsky wrote them. Um, Snow Guard, just this random Star Wars thing I had uh, on my desk here. Oh, I got just some stuff. So the, really the idea of the room was I have so much stuff, I really, really, really wanted to display it. Like, I wanted to see my stuff, you know, it's like Marie Kondo, whatever. You know, if it doesn't give you joy, throw it away. It's not about it doesn't give me joy, but it gives me more joy to be able to see the stuff than to just have that stuff, like, you know, hiding in boxes. So the more stuff I can get up, the happier I am on the wall. Shout out that J Justice. Uh, she's an artist I found on Twitter who did that little Monica Rambeau for me. I love this connecting variant because very few connecting variants connect that way. Um, some more Hans up at the top there, Wicked and Divine, Storm, Aliens, Defiance, uh, some more Hans there, Ironheart, Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, Virgin Variant, and some more Hans down there along with that Josh Middleton cover that was just amazing. There's a curtain that goes outside. Uh, and up here we've got, oh that's a nice shot. So that second shelf with the Jen Bartel Women of Marvel variants, that's going to be the shelf that I change each month. The rest of these shelves are pretty much staying. Obviously, I need the uh, 
red Anakin for that top shelf. Then I did some more Miss Marvel stuff over here. Again, sorry about the light. Boom, 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 boom. And for some of these, like, <laughs> doubled up. Because like I said, I really wanted to get this stuff out where I could see it and I could be happy knowing it's there. Here's an overflow mark, Star Wars box. Two, four, six, eight boxes of Star Wars. Um, nine. Elf Quest. All Black Hammer. Nope, that's another Elf Quest. Sorry, that one is Black Hammer. Maybe I should take the Black Hammer out and put the Star Wars in there. Have the Black Hammer being the odd one out. Let's see, the top wall is all our like modern. Um, Heroes, Viv Vision, Riri Williams, Sam Alexander, Amadeus Cho, Miles Morales, Kamala Khan, and we all join together in the champions. Carol Danvers becomes uh, Captain Marvel, first Moon Girl, first Devil Dinosaur, first Squirrel Girl, first American Chavez, uh, first New Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, and plus a bunch of others. First A Force, first Young Avengers, first Strange Academy, like a whole bunch of them, and then a whole bunch of them in New Agents of Atlas. I met Fiona Staples and got her to sign that. Um, I got that from an old comic book shop there, that 94 poster. Got that at uh, Comic Con, uh, Grit City, Tacoma Comic Con last year. Artist was just phenomenal. The price was ridiculously good. Oh, some figurines here, some figurines there. Uh, that. <laughs> That droid is made out of like, you know, belt bearings and sockets and shocks and all sorts of stuff. Friend gave that to me really cool. Um, God, that's like, that's Santa Claus skateboarding is like the oldest present I have from a student ever. Uh, I got some bounty hunters, double decker bus because my English heritage. Mork, I love finding that Mork action figure. Yes, I do have a Star Wars Pez collection. Oh, in the corner there, I really wish I'm going to. Put new hinges on that so it opens up um, sideways rather than top and bottom so you can actually display the figures inside that Darth Vader head. Um, just some more Lego, Lego Ahsoka, um, bootleg Lego Bad Batch, boom, some more stuff there. Elf Quest uh, figures that I purchased in like 1987. And there's the first appearance of Elf Quest in Fantasy Quarterly. Uh, some of Hans's work, you know, just couldn't find raw like this one here. Um, love that. Uh, CBS or whatever they are, CBCS verified that Stan Lee, I love that little guy, throw his head up and then I'll go and do all the Star Wars figurines in a minute. Let's look at some comics first. Hi Republic, uh, 9.8 signed by the writer, Star Wars, thanks Kavi. Um, let's look at some more Star Wars variants. There's a really cool Darth Maul. Uh, first very brief appearance of Boba Fett. Uh, God Country, was that the artist's name? We did that, that Kanan um, with Ahsoka and Sabine on for me. Uh, Raven, the one in 100, Ahsoka, obviously. Uh, issue six, should be issue one up there. What's going on? <laughs> shout out Afra, um, Heir of the Empire, shout out Thrawn, and then down here, I got that little sketch done of Volvi, at Joe Rubenstein, love that. Um, this one is not signed. I gotta get that signed by Claremont in the summer. Um, that one's signed by McFarlane on the inside. There's Claremont on the Mutants. There's Alpha Flight. There's Jim Shooter on Moon Knight. Uh, oh God, I would love to meet Walt Simonson and get him to sign that. Then of course, oh gosh, I don't even know if I wanna get that one signed. Uh, stupid light coming here from the side here. We will just boom, boom, boom take that down. And look, surprise. <laughs> All right, so we got more pops. So I decided I'm just collecting random Star Wars pops as well as um, uh, solo Star Wars story pops, which are all these here. So I love that they're numbered so you can like figure out which ones you're missing and replace, you know, not replace, get the ones that you're missing. And I got all these little like Star Wars toys, these bobbleheads for like super cheap. All right, we got Moff Tarkin. Hey, if you don't like this, just stop watching, but I'm going to keep going until I'm done. And Kira. Um, Enfy's Nest, who I think is a woefully understated character, so I've actually put her ship. Um, one of the Cloud Riders back there. Shout out to your seer. Um, little baby Grogu I thought was cool, and it's one of the few things I kept from my uh, Phantom Menace 
figures that I spent a lot of money on when I was first a young adult with a credit card. God, that was stupid. The Armorer, what a great character. Um, if you don't know the Kitty Pride Wolverine limited series, you may not know this statue. That's the um, Mask of Ogun, and that just blows me away. Here's my Little Miss Marvel shelf. Um, the Legends figure with the Sandman back there. The Game Reverse figure. I still don't have the Kotobukaya statue, which is the same company that made that one, I think, um, with Miss Marvel, but I'll get it. There's the chess piece from the Marvel chess set. There's from the Lego Avengers set. Um, that little one is from like a die cast set I found at Target. I forget what the stand up is. And then there's her Game Reverse pop. Um, in the back is her first pop. I don't know if you can see that. Coming over here, we got Mando and Ezra and Ahsoka, comics that are too big for <laughs> regular stuff, just some random books and some more slabs. Um, those books in the red and blue are the ones that I've written. I'm missing one of them. Uh, there's my Spawn newsstand collection and my Simpsons comics. I still don't know what to put in these. They're kind of flimsy, but I love these little containers. There's some Saga Pops. There's some more uh, Usagi, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel Pops, um, Miscellaneous X-Men. So I guess I'm going down, even though the X-Men, some more Miscellaneous X books, uh, any Miles, Cindy, or Gwen books, some more Saga Pops. Uh, my Wolverine collection, 1 through 100, plus a bunch of variants and cool stuff. Uh, that's Spidey-related books that are not Miles, Cindy, or Gwen. There's X-Men, probably 94 through uh, 240 or something, whatever is not on that wall that I showed you before. There is the last um, existence of Star Wars before George Lucas fucked it up with all the digital effects. That's VHS. I want to get those on DVD. Uh, X-Men 241 to 387. These are not finished. 94 to 270. Uh, all of Claremont's run is finished. Um, 388 to 500. I guess that's Champions and Strange Academy. And that uh, Champions box, there's G.I. Joe. I don't have a G.I. Joe box, so I got a Transformers box for my G.I. Joe. Don't ask me why. Um, Bat-related books. What else do I have? I think I showed you the rest of that. Uh, let's come on down here. Look at some hardcovers. I love what TKO was doing. And um, that sentient by Lumiere, that was great. If you haven't read The Sculptor, go read The Sculptor. Um, it's just so amazing. If you haven't read Michael Chabon's Amazing Adventures of Cavalier Clay, go read it. Uh, Nimona, I love Nimona. Do, 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 do. Uh, my favorite thing is Monsters is amazing. And then I've got all the die hardcovers. And um, is that Galathea? Yep, Galathea. That's Stephanie Hahn's self-published comic in uh, France. Um, it's all in French, you can't read it, but you can see the beginning of her art. Stump Town and a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Oh gosh, more stuff. Um, Saints and Boxers was great. If you, um, Elite the Unseen. I still haven't gotten Bird King. Those are both G. Wheeler Wilson books, the writer on Miss Marvel and now Poison Ivy. Um, Mouse, of course, everybody's got Mouse. There's the Vision hardcover, it's pretty awesome. And there's my yearbook, that's when I graduated high school. Shh. Um, all my lock and keys, fables. This is really cool. This is like every hardcover from the Star Wars. Um, and I, they're still in cellophane. I haven't taken them out from the 2015 Star Wars. Um, I found this at half price and I just had to throw the money at it, even though I have all the books. And then these, I still need to get Sandman three and four. They got four um, for like a ridiculous amount of money at half price. I think you can get it cheaper on Amazon, but I don't really want to go to Amazon. Um, I do have Saga number one upstairs. I was doing a reread. Something is Killing the Children, hardcover, the slipcase, Monsters First hardcover, and Songs of Ice and Fire. Uh, that's about it. I mean, you know, the stupid stuff. There's uh, stuff I haven't sent out yet. <laughs> There's stuff I sell. There's my robotic stuff, my Arduinos and stuff for school. There's more robotic stuff down there. Um, that's it. <laughs> All right. If you stayed this long, thank you very much. Uh, let me see yours. Tag.